How are we doing guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the reason why my content's been so sporadic, not very consistent uh, for a while now. And on top of that, I'm going to be discussing the future of the channel. So the reason things have been sporadic and not very consistent is I'm changing a couple of my life goals at the minute and I'm working very hard on them. I'm starting a new job here real soon whilst creating a business and getting things together on a different front. Um, I very much dedicated to trying to find a partner for life and raise raise some children. It uh, surprised me. It's pretty recent. It's been in the last six months or so that I started thinking about this more seriously. And that is thanks to my niece. I have a young, beautiful three-year-old niece. And uh, next year, she's uh, actually going to be ready to enter the public education system in the UK. And... This topic is basically what I'm going to be making one or two videos about here on my channel in the future. And I don't know how many videos I'll be making past these next couple that I'm planning on. Um, we're very concerned about the future for our niece and the safety for her in school and what they're being taught in schools at the minute. Uh, I, we didn't realize how far things have gone since we've been in school ourselves. And it is very concerning, to be honest. Uh, it's it's concerned my sister to the point where she's actively looking to send my niece to a Christian school because we're not happy with the way things are at the minute. And they're also looking at some private schools with more traditional teaching methods, but they've they've not been able to find any suitable public schools at the minute. And that's very concerning. That is very concerning. Um... For some reason recently, there are groups out there that think it's okay to teach LGBTQ topics to children. They believe it's okay to show drag shows to children, drag reading hours for children. And uh, I, I don't quite understand it. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. It doesn't make sense. The reasons that have been giving us for diversity, equity, and inclusion, that ugh, absolute nonsense. Um, yeah. Let me put it to you this way. Uh, these are minorities, okay? I'm a minority myself. But these are minorities that are based in sex and sexuality. And it's it's not appropriate to bring these topics to young children. I respect anyone that chooses to live their life the way they want to live it. But the fact is, if you're a part of the LGBTQ community, especially the topics that have been taught to children at the minute, you've chosen to live a lifestyle, or these people have chosen to live a lifestyle that is not... Um, that is, it, it doesn't create life. And that's fine. That's their decision. But I don't think that gives them the right to then advertise their lifestyle choices to children that is contrary to the natural order, to be quite honest with you. Now, some people might find that this comment is bigoted or racist or whatever it is. And I'm sorry if you feel that way about me, because I'm not. I've, uh, my first ever boss in London was a gay man, and he taught me more life lessons about the career I was in than any of my future bosses after him. I had a lot of respect for the man. Um, when I got a manager position, I, I employed gay people, and I enjoyed spending time with them outside of work. We actually used to go to quite a few gay bars when I was in London, because it was a fun environment to be in as, as an adult. I've got no issue with it. I've lived with two lesbians for a year, and I've lived with a closeted homosexual as well who came out uh, to us and we lived with him for a couple years as well I got nothing but love and respect for people that choose these lifestyle choices but every single one of these people I mentioned also do not agree with what's happening in schools right now it's it's ridiculous it's up to adults to make these choices it's not up to adults to push these topics onto children and that's simply my point of view on it um I probably I haven't decided how I'm going to edit this video. I'll probably have some footage in the background to show some examples of some of the extremes at the minute, and um, it's concerning to say the least. Um, I recently went to a protest and have my say about it, and I'll be posting that on my channel. I found someone else that recorded it, um, so that'll be my next video to show you guys what I have to say about the drag show hour, drag story hour specifically. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's concerning. Now, 
there may be a lot of you out there that you know it doesn't concern you and that's fine you know this is something that concerns me specifically and i'm sure it does concern some other viewers as well and again there might be some viewers that don't appreciate what i have to say but these are my beliefs and it's just sad that i have to defend myself against race well that i feel like i have to defend myself against being slandered with um with terms like phobic this phobic that white supremacist blah 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 i mean obviously that's a stupid one because i'm not white but anyway that's that's kind of the state of the channel that's the things i'm going to be talking about here in the future and uh i hope everyone does well look backing back to bdo i, I still enjoy the game now that i play it. i'm happy that other people enjoy it i hope pa continue doing events for the game and um when things cool down for me and i'm not I haven't got my foot on the pedal with work, getting my career set up, losing weight and all this other stuff. Um, then if I got time at that point and I'm interested, I'll make some more BDO content. But that's all I've got to say for today. Thank you everyone much who listened so far. Whether or not you agreed or disagreed with me, I appreciate your time. And uh, I hope you guys have a good day. If it's completely legal, because there are some real safeguarding concerns um, in we're those environments. Now, just, just, to, just to, sorry to interrupt you, but this is what we're looking at so, now. So it's a man upside down with a leopard print thong on, which you that might is see on the beach. Bum out! I'm on pretty the sure beach. I see something. A beach, and that is not comparable. Don't be but so how ridiculous. Is it not comparable? Number one, number one, they're paid. What are you scared? What do you think is going to happen to these number babies? Number one, their parents are paid to, to be there. So, and number number two, they are interacting and in close proximity to children.